Good evening, everyone. System Chalk here with uh, what should be the 50th episode of the Priest Legacy DLC for Cult of Simulator playing as Harold Davidson. Um, so as kind of suggested this week, I had to split the recordings up. So I'm going to just take a quick minute here and see where we're at. Uh, we were... I remember this. We were taking the Raw Prophet, waiting for the tentative evidence to potentially turn into damning evidence. I think the last time we found ourselves in this situation, <clears throat> the... Uh, uh, the investigation actually didn't turn out. Um, now, the one risk that we run is that the um, <clears throat> that as it it turns out that the raw prophet fails in its mission. The bit of good news there, though, is that if we wind up with a damning evidence um, <clears throat> and the mission fails, we actually just have the one notoriety, and I believe we're not doing anything to generate notoriety right now. So. Overall, uh, we're in a slightly better place than we were <clears throat> for, um, uh, you know, for, for Seasons of Suspicion than we, we normally would be. Um, work, we're still doing the treaties. So uh, as I, or I don't think that's the <laughs> pronunciation, but <clears throat> the aim here was to try and start drawing down my funds so that we can pursue the Grail Lockscar. Um, we've got a couple of books to study when the time comes. At this point, we were right. I was getting the erudition so that I could level up the winter. That was uh, that was why. And we're continuing to use the stag door, one or the spider's door. One thing I might consider doing to help draw down my funds would be to hire more um, more people uh, as sacrifices to the spider's door. But the problem there would be. I'm generating notoriety from that at a time where I potentially have damning evidence, so that's not something I want to pursue right away. Either way, uh, we'll have a conversation between the Raw Prophet and the, um, the Percussigant, just so I can preserve it. And we'll see how the... we'll see how it all turns out. The words contain knowledge, and now I contain it. It's a little like theft, a little like feasting, and a little like the progress of an infectious disease. So I blundered with the original effort to get erudition. So I, I had the erudition, and then I didn't actually bother upgrading the um, the invocation of the ivory dove. Now, um, originally I wanted dread as well. In this case, we're just going to kind of throw ourselves up um, against the uh, you know against the problem and see if we can see if we can grab any um, any erudition out. Or sorry, grab see if the erudition is the one that comes up first. If it doesn't, then, you know, we've wasted a couple minutes uh, with the study verb, but it's not the end of the world. That comes later. Okay, so two seasons of visions back to back. That's basically the same as having a free turn here, and I don't think we're going to do anything to generate visions. And we do have damning evidence, so we're going to take the percussant out. We'll put the evidence in there. If this ever reaches trial, I will be in serious danger. Even if this hunter is disposed of, another may find their notes. Earthgape, oh no, it will not harbor me. Okay. <clears throat> so, I think at some point I was considering a, uh, another painting to try and get rid of the staleness. I'd still maybe consider doing that because we are going to wind up going on a couple of extra expeditions. For the time being, though, I think it makes a little more sense for me to keep um, uh, keep doing the commissions because, of course, we have the uh, we have the season of visions coming up. So generating generating some fascination or the potential for fascination is not quite the done thing right now. I seem to get this in the wrong order. Nope, just the wrong spot. Okay, uh, so we'll give my reason. This may be useful for a commission. And we will turn it in when we can, but we're a little, a little um, off. The pat, we're off the pattern a little bit, just because we need to deal with the evidence before we turn in uh, commissions. So the way that I'm going to handle the next little while. So obviously, there's the expeditions that we need to go on. That sort of goes without saying. But what I can sort of do, if in the, in the absolute um, worst case. Um, <clears throat> I just kind of translate and read books and deal with the uh, emotions as they come up. Now, I was a bit of a bonehead, and I don't think I brought my, my notebook with me. So I, I know normally I've got sort of a... I've got a little bit of a... Uh, I've got a system in place now. Um, I think what I'm going to try and do here... I'm going to do the Mallory. I might have actually tried the Chamber of Ways here, but the thing is that 
this can sometimes generate fascination, whereas I don't believe the Mallory ever does. And so, actually, you know, the favor from authority might be a, a useful protection. Anyways, I'll do the Mallory just because I think it's the safer of the two options at a time I have Season of Visions. Okay, and that actually turned out rather well for me. In the Mansus, the hours strive one against the other. As the struggles are resolved, they iron out the impossible, exalt the possible, tie the fraying braids of what has been into one golden ribbon of future. Everything is resolved, history becomes past. There are, however, exceptions. Last night in the Mansus, I visited the Mallory, from whose hammers and crucibles one does not emerge unchanged, and for nine beats my heart ceased while it entered the fires of the forge, and the passions of the forge entered into it. I woke with the dawn, and its poor divided colors inspire memories of the forge's passion for the sun, of the vagabond's curse, of the grail's deep longing. So many half-memories. Okay. So let's uh, get rid of our last prisoner. The spider's door is always thirsty, always. The blood I have given leaks in threads and spills through the skin of the world, and the door drinks it, and a moment's satisfaction swells its opening until I can pass. And we'll see whether or not we successfully tampered with the records. So we've got Snow's Keeper. Again, we had the unexpected unresolved ambiguity. So there's the possibility we may lose the percussant here. Um, but I'll take two extra locations over, you know, potential loss of a percussant. They're pretty straightforward to get back. Uh, the Rending Mountains, it has been said, tear the flesh of history. It is generally only been said by people like Christopher Alopoli, but still, they're a good region to find places that daylight history does not recognize. My minion has not returned, they've failed, and their blundering may have attracted attention. Okay, so life just got a lot more interesting. For starters, let's deal with the commissions that we have. So I do need to summon a new... Uh, I do need to summon a new... Um, I do need to summon either a new Roth Prophet or a Caligain before uh, before we can move forward. Again, this isn't pretty. This isn't too difficult just because of all the instruments that we have. But if we do have a season of suspicion coming up, we're in danger. Okay, so can't really do anything with dread for the next little bit. <clears throat> Receive the currency of the secret world, and my patron has let tantalizing information slip. We can't talk to Dr. Adi. We've got 14 seconds before um, the next event, so I'm just trying to think if there's anything I want to do with the talk verb. That doesn't take too long. Not really, unfortunately. I'd like to try and preserve the precussigant, but uh, I think turning in the commission with Dr. Adim is the better of the two options. And I'll see if I can put maybe some of these glimmerings or fleeting reminiscences to use in order to get something like a, um, a Caligine rather than a Raw Prophet. I finished the manuscript, so... There we go. Actually, I may... How safe do I feel about some... Okay, I actually kind of hate that I'm doing this. Um, but I am going to do the sunset right with the Percussigant, just because I know I'm not going to have a whole lot of time for some... Well, now I, th I think I can still get away with summoning the, the Caligain. Um, I guess neither of these really help me. Yeah, actually, I don't think there's a way that I can summon a Caligain without... Um, No, I, I don't. Th I don't think I have a. I have to give something up for it, um, which is fine. Um, although <laughs> I do, I need to make sure that I'm doing the right offerings. Um, okay, right of Mother's Mercy will probably help us out here. Let's take the Great On Oil. Uh, we will add Menescade Invocation, and then actually uh, the. Forge probably makes more sense. Okay, Forge for the Smoky Spirit. Summoning Winter for its binding. It must know who will rule it. Probably took longer than it needed to in terms of working out the parts, but... 
Aha, there it is. Is that it? You resolved a knowledge challenge. Okay, so we've got our chance to talk to Madame Bichet about a commission. This is kind of what I, under normal circumstances, this is what I would want, but of course the talk verb needs to be used for other purposes now. Now the Mallory does sometimes give me winter. Um, or sorry, the uh, Chamber of Ways sometimes gives me winter. Uh, the question is, is it something... Like, I've already got my Caligine now, so... Well, let's give it a shot. Ooh! <laughs> That's not a good time to get that. Light leaks through the cracks. My mind is brighter than it ever was. The higher I rise, the more I see. Oh, nope, the Season of Visions has passed. Okay. Uh, last night I came to the Concursum, the space at the center of the Mansus, which has been called the Chamber of Mirrors. From here, the hours may pass to any place in the Mansus. I saw the Menescate rise in the cobalt glory of the Chamber's light. Dancer live, moon bright, and she reflected my face in her own, and this morning, that is all I can see. Okay, let's get rid of that fascination for starters. I don't need to make life any more difficult for me. We got a substantial commission on Grail, so I want to do that as soon as I can. Uh, I am debating on doing a painting, just because I think I'm running out of money a little too quickly. But, uh, for the time being... Again, a talk with a percussigant isn't really the done thing right now. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it. And we've got the Tombs of the Shadowless Kings, an rearing outcrop of lion-colored rock. Laborers carved tombs for the first kings of this land. Those kings had hoped to be immortal, and perhaps one of them is. The others lie among their trinkets. A hereditary order of guardians watches closely. So I'd forgotten how... I I feels the Rending Mountains are a little bit shorter than the other one, so I thought I'd actually needed more unresolved ambiguities, but that's pretty helpful for me. I think I'm going to risk the Percussigant. I'm going to use the... So, if it turns out that there's a like a problem with the summoning, I'll either talk or you know do an expedition with, um, with the Percussigant. But otherwise, I think I'll just explore with the... Um, well, with the Explorer verb. I'm not, I don't want to sell off any of these uh, items here, so I've actually got uh, sort of a bit of freedom with, with this. Grim Lessons. This is a puzzle with missing pieces. I might find those pieces in odd corners of scholarship. So I need a Dread, Pit, or Silent Intensity, neither of which, or none of which are available um, to me. So if I had the decrepitude, that would be an easy way for me to get uh, dread, but I'm I'm not at that point. Okay, we are probably well. We have the time, yeah. We have the time it takes for the um, the notoriety to get picked up, which will actually be a little sooner than I want. So as long as the Caligine delivers, we'll be fine. But I I am in. I'm genuinely in danger here, uh, or at least one of my followers is. Not all the Forge's children are bright. Its offcuts and its bastards gather in the bounds like hammer scale in the cracks of a smithy floor. Here comes one now. So we're going to throw that Caligine into the into the challenge right away, uh, and we are going to use the right of the... Oh, no need to do the right of the Crucible Soul. We can use the um, Sunset Right and a Fleeting Reminiscence to resummon the Percussigant. The Percussigant, merciless and merry, heart will bring it, edge will constrain it. At the corners of the forge, in the bounds of the Mansus, the glorious fire meets baser elements. Here is a cunning vapor to infect your enemy's dreams. Okay, so we've got 60 seconds, and 38 the investigation starts, and it's possible it might pick up a notoriety. So as long as the... as long as the... Um, the attempt succeeds, we're fine but I think we're in a situation where it's very likely uh, the notoriety is going to get picked up, and it's probably going to get picked up early on in the <clears throat> in the investigation. Still trying to think if there's anything I wanted to do with the Explorer bird. Not really. <clears throat> okay, so uh, I've got a nice... It's a, I've got a convenient little time here. Uh, I don't have a whole lot to do with the Dream Slot right now. Um, the Explorer verb, you know, is, is um, free. Uh, so what I'm going to do here with the spider's doors, I'm actually going to use the formula concursive. 
And the light of the divided sorry, the light of the divided sun penetrates my dream, but not enough to thaw the long dead frost blossoms of the glass garden. Each step I take crushes another plant to powder. Here's the way the brighter hours once came, but now it's silent here in the clouds. Okay, my studies have been stymied for now. So study-wise, um, I don't really have any materials that I... I mean, eventually I'll probably want air addition for trying the Menescade Invocation. Actually, I could even try that now. Um, probably not the smartest thing for me to do, so let's just... Um, Let's translate. The Larkabean Codex. Christopher Larkabus claimed to have purchased two handwritten copies of the Codex in the supposedly extinct Frisian tongue from a family of witches on the shores of the Sea of Marmara. Third was given to the sea. So I don't expect us to find anything new out of this, but it's still helpful. Okay. The moment of truth. The clouds part. The wolf despair prowls elsewhere. No dread empowers this despair. It's over for now. And I want to be careful about any dread that comes up. So we'll have a chat with Count Jennings when we can. Okay. So we're safe enough in terms of the... Well, actually, no. Well, it, it's still the same risk that we have. There's the possibility that it fails. First the thump, the thump, the rattle and cry of the ceremonies it attends in the wood. Now here it is, shouldering its way through the world's skin, like a clawed and ruthless uncle or a headless flapping bear. Okay, so at this point, if I want, I can just go on to the expedition. Or, well, yeah, I, I would have liked to bring the Caligine, but we can, we can add it later. I am going to do some painting, though. Did the sun ever come here when its death was pronounced? Perhaps that pronouncement was uh, premature. In any case, if we use its progress, we'll have to face avalanches, furious ghosts, and a door sealed by adept architects. Let's be ready. I also should have read the description for this. This chilly monument was built long before Rome fell. Stone wolves watched the door. A chamber within was carved from rock to await fragments of the sun at its prophesied funeral procession. That procession never came, but the dead are still drawn here. So you can probably make some guesses in terms of the uh, the principle associated with this location. Uh, I think I said, yeah, painting. Um, I am so smart, the painting. Oof! My minion has not returned. They have failed, and their blundering may have attracted attention. Uh, I think we're done, um, but let's let's go let's go for a you know for a, a hail mary here. Sylvia, significant meetings in the smoky meeting room. What do I need from my follower? I need you to get rid of this evidence right away. This is definitely not as good as getting a not as good as getting a Caligi to do it. That's for sure. I could spend money on more exotic paints, or perhaps I could find more exotic pigments. The peacock's door, sorry, the peacock door, proud and shining amethyst, its glow tinting the snow pale shapes of the glass garden. Now, in the highest point where mortals may penetrate the mansus, no crack mars its surface. This is not a door that opens, although it is said it might, uh, may bleed light. So I'm not quite ready to go through, uh, go through the door yet. I actually have other things that I'd like to do. We're gonna just do a good old-fashioned stag door ascension. I need some materials for summoning a replacement Caligine. So we do at least get one more attempt with the evidence. Okay, our expedition plans for the next challenge. It'll consume funds. I could add funds now, or I could send another follower. So we need, definitely need to add Eau Claire and Violet. The good news is, is that it's going to take care of both the high passes and the fretful dead. Uh, Study-wise, let's translate. Yeah, we can translate both. Athena Vanna's work on the Rogue Hour called The Vagabond. I had to look at masks. Okay, so let's avoid the dread and another season of suspicion. I think I might have another use for that percussigant, except that he's already, uh, 
already on a mission. I've created something both distinctive and beautiful. It will very likely enhance my reputation. Okay. So, the mystique is helpful, the fascination less so. And we really just made back the materials. I'm better than losing it, I suppose, but I do need to find some money. <clears throat> so I could try a reputation-based painting, but I don't think I'm quite ready to uh, risk that yet. <clears throat> um, so the challenge that I can run into... Well, you know what? I think provoking exaltation is still, still a decent way to try and go about this. I'll speak to their souls, and if I speak with conviction, their souls may answer me. <clears throat> so this is just so I can generate some money. I'm, I don't actually have enough to do the expeditions now. So. <clears throat> the hour called the Madrigard is at home in the cold. She will almost certainly keep us from falling. So I'll uh, double up the fascination with the fleeting reminiscence. Actually, you know what? The season of suspicion probably isn't going to affect us, so we should be fine. Oh, here we go. Oh, I'm a lucky devil. Uh, my minion has returned. The evidence has just has been destroyed. I am a little safer. This is uh, like, so again, I, I've said this, I think even on this series, but <clears throat> this is where I think um, Cult of Simulator can sometimes really, uh, really show off the advantage of this style of storytelling. Um, so again, you have all of these almost, uh, you can almost think of them as like narrative Legos, except that I appreciate that this has a different meaning now, uh, related to, um, to other games and other projects. But what I really like here, right, is that you have Sylvia, you have the damning evidence, you know, you have all the context that's been written from these little fragments of text. But at no point did Weather Factory need to sit down and write the daring escape or, you know, the last minute destruction of the evidence. Um, in, instead, what you have is, you know, you've got this image from, I don't know, like the Americans or something like that, where, you know, you're in some place you're not supposed to, but you absolutely have to get the job done. Uh, and, you know, again, what we have are cards on a, on a table. We have Sylvia, you know. Her favorite tactic is to smile and close her eye. It is remarkable how often her interlocutor will blurt out exactly what they are thinking. Um, but obviously at, at this moment, like the put moth follower on to talk and put evidence on to talk right at the moment that the notoriety gets picked up, that is, you know, that's clearly a big moment where you feel this huge sigh of, you have this huge sigh of uh, relief. Um, I, I really like I really like that sort of thing, so. Anyways, on to the Ascent of Knives. Okay, Furious Air, I mean, I can get I can get a summon out of it, but it's, it's maybe not the first one I would pick. Of the place my dreams took me last night, this has been written. The Ascent is glass, the walls are knives, each step is blood. I did not climb far, the pain was too great. When I woke, that pain remained with me, a pain I could employ to occult purposes if I hurry. So... Uh, I could actually summon a maid in the mirror with this, which puts me on the path to the dread, which I would use to level up the invocation of the ivory dove. Before I do anything, I do need to get rid of the fascination, so the doors of vision swing wide. A little darkness will mellow my light. Even dread has its uses. And seems to me like I can get a bunch of commissions, so the doctor would like help with his research. The uh, restlessness can decay into dread as well, but we need to make sure that we're we're in a position to to actually take advantage of it. Okay, secret histories commission, and what would Madame? Oh, Madame Shea's already got a commission. I prepared my text for study. Frost garden shivering. We've made it through the mountains. Okay, so things are are calming down for us a little bit. Let's read the Larkabine Codex. The sister and witch came from the west, where they were born in two wombs, one a princess, one a monster. Nevertheless, they loved each other from birth and met in secret to seek union. Okay, free turn coming up. And Count Jannings would like an edge commission. So we can do all of these, but again, we're a little short on money, so I, I need to be kind of careful in terms of uh, where all this goes. What I may do is I actually might start putting Saliba back on the, um, the, uh, like, 
get um, get bodies for the spider's door routine. I don't know, like we're I I I was a little too effective in terms of uh, running down my um, my cash reserves, uh, and we wound up with more expeditions than I necessarily wanted. Uh, but before I do anything, let's have a chat with Laidlaw, and we'll get him to repair the Watchman's Glass. A forged aspected follower could repair it, but the cost would be high, or I could use up what power remains in it. Okay, so we wound up with an unexpected exalt. Or no, that wasn't unexpected. We gave them a, a high-level lore. In the House of the Sun, the dance of the Angels of Glory does not cease. Those who are cast down, wave, or wound, or snow are gone from the house, and as long as their parts in the dance are filled, they may never return. Therefore, let us join hands and add our little steps to the dance. Okay, I think I'm actually going to use that fervor right away, just so I don't have another... Actually, I guess I said I was going to try and summon a... Well, I don't really have anything... Yeah, I do want to do a summoning, but I want to do a summoning when it's uh, either a Raw Prophet or a, or a Caligeen. Because I'm definitely going to need to deal with evidence again. Uh, so let's... Um, we'll earn a little more money uh, doing the same thing. Uh, actually, I guess in this case I have to do a... I have to do a Reason Sermon. The congregation is already in a state of excitement. Any secret knowledge will almost certainly drive them to exaltation. Okay, I'll let this turn into dread. Sometimes my words and those I have borrowed move my congregation beyond mere concentration to exaltation. And the expedition continues. Our expedition plans for the next challenge. It'll consume funds. I could add funds now, or I could send another follower. So there is a trick to this. You want to make sure... You, in this case, I want to put the funds in first. We let the winter or the edge take care of the fretful dead, and once the fretful dead are gone, then we add the forge or the knock follower. In this case, knock is pretty it's a pretty obvious choice, and the reason for that is on the chance that we fail with the fretful dead, we do not want a high value um, follower to be lost uh, to the to the event. In 32 seconds, I'm going to start doubling up the Invocation of the Ivory Dove as well, uh, just because we'll have some dread to work with, and I would rather not wind up in a situation where I have to have to try and get rid of dread again. All right, our devotion is drawn common. Not great, but we can work with it. Back to the stag door. I can go through the peacock door, but I'm, I'm just... At this point, I'm just trying to get some raw materials for uh, summoning. I don't need to do anything too too crazy. The dead circle at the edge of our vision like frayed dreams. The very air around us is chill with winter's shadow. They must recognize that. It d does occur to me that one thing I can do in a little bit is um, I can actually just throw all my funds into an expedition and sort of use it as a bank. Uh, I'm actually almost at that point right now. Uh, and again, that's if I want to try and pursue the, um, the grail um, the Grail, uh, uh, the Grail Lockscar, but I don't know, we're, we're getting kind of close to, to what we need anyway. When the great drought came, the kings of the land tried to sacrifice the princess and the witch, so they sailed across the sea. When despair took them, they flung themselves into the drowning waters, and so found the Painted River, where they entered the Mansus through the offices of the Red Grail. Nevertheless, the Codex ends with a condemnation of the Grail. So there's the Waking Chant. I normally would be reading the Book of Masks, but in this case we want to try and double up the winter, and we do have a dread that we're going to be getting in a little bit. Now, chances are this is going to produce another dread. I'm going to need to learn how to deal with that, but we'll we'll deal with it at the time. And we can finally start using the Silver Spintrea. We have, we're about to repair the Watchman's Glass. Okay, tentative evidence. I can let this hang around for a little bit, but obviously, you know, we don't want to have what happened, you know, just before uh, come up again, so... I need to I need to keep an eye on things. All right, let's get some commissions done. So we'll start with an edge. So one of the reasons I'm starting with that edge is it's going to give me another iron spintrea, which again is one of these things that I can sell at the auction house pretty readily. We have a season of ambitions coming up, so that's a restlessness that may wind up in a painting. Although the menescade invocation, I guess it depends on how our uh, how our studies work out. 
we might be able to move this up if we have the air addition in time. But yeah, the restlessness will probably turn into a painting. Wisdom is a country, and these are its maps. The mirror is repaired. It shines again as it did once before. All right, good work, Laidla. So, uh, as always, the question is, what do I want to do with my talk verb? I've got 33 seconds. I could try and get something for the spider's door, but in this case, I think I probably just want to get the... I probably just want to get the, um, the treadmill of, of commissions uh, finished. And a trembling heat. That was convenient. The possibilities of sparks. Gearby was weeping again. I scooped up his molten tears in my cupped palm. In the dream, my skin peeled and blistered, but only in the dream. And that will get me my Caligine. But that will get me my Caligine in a future episode. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you are enjoying the series and have not done so, please consider subscribing to the channel. And you can turn on the bell for the notifications if you would like. And then if you'd like to either show your support for the episode or if you'd like to help them get noticed and have some more people come through, I'd always appreciate a like. Um, you can also give a dislike. It lets me know when I'm sort of failing on that. But uh, usually I need a little more information. Uh, and I do like the comments. Uh, again, they both help the videos get noticed. And it's always nice to encounter people who appreciate the game as much as I do. Or if you have any questions, I also like answering all of those. I try to, try to answer as many uh, or all um, as I can. But I'll try, I'm trying to keep these endings a little bit uh, more careful. There's one more episode for the week. I will see you all tomorrow. Take care until then.